Yes, people, a man from Preston has been jailed for the brutal and senseless murder of both of his parents. Lee Tippin, aged 36, launched a frenzied attack on his father, Anthony Tippin, 60, stabbing him at least 162 times and using an aerosol and a lighter as a flamethrower. He then turned a the knife on his mother, Tracy Livesey, 57, stabbing her at least 153 times during the attack at their home in Higher Walton, Preston, on the 20th of November. After killing his parents, Tipping washed the knife and placed it into his father's hand as he lay dead on the bathroom floor. He then drove to Manchester Airport in an attempt to leave the country but panicked when he saw armed officers and tried to check into a Premier Inn in Manchester City Centre. His parents' bodies were later discovered in the upstairs of their home where they had both been stabbed a number of times in the head, neck and body. In July, a jury at Preston Crown Court found Tipping guilty of the murders, something he denied claiming self-defence and loss of control against his father and loss of control in relation to the death of his mother. At a sentencing hearing in Preston Crown Court, Tipping was sentenced to life with a minimum of 27 years. Mr Justice Goose said, The violence used by Tipping was savage and extreme. He also rejected claims Tipping's parents were neglectful, saying they provided the best care to their mentally ill son. In a victim impact statement, Anthony's brother Stuart Tipping said, Tipping was cherished by his parents who took him back into the family home after he was released from a mental health unit against the advice of professionals. That day changed our world forever. We lost two people at once, he said. Handing down the sentence, Mr Justice Goose said, he took into account Tipping's mental health condition but noted he had stopped taking his medication and did not seek help when he started to feel his condition was deteriorating. You did not know it would lead to you to commit murder, the judge said. Tipping will have to serve a minimum of 27 years before he will be considered for parole. Yeah, that's it, people. Rest in peace to both of his parents anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.